Hello and welcome to Fairly Used News, an update of news that already happened but you did not know that's still fairly okay for you to know. Top on the news at this time, Dubai restricts the airflow of Nigerian passengers entering Dubai from Nigeria because Dubai before now already suspend flight from Nigeria till early in March but now they have extended the deadline to like 20th of March because it choke. The NSC is protesting minimum wage, they are warning up for strike, not be today. 30,000 Naira is currently the minimum wage of workers in Nigeria. Some governors in Nigeria have already hala that they cannot pay 30,000 Naira. Well, let's keep looking and see what will happen. Also, telcos are planning to switch off USSD code because of the castle that is trying to bust between them and banks. USSD is that star something 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 star something or ash something that all of you are used to pressing follow 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 and used to send code to each other. Food prices of perishables and vegetables and other things like that in the northern part of the country are beginning to crash because of glut in the market. That's excess supply and drop in demand. News Agency of Nigeria claims that in Kanu Metropolis on Sunday that the prices of perishable produce such as onion, tomato, pepper are beginning to drop by over 200% since the high price that hit Nigeria a few months ago. For example, a measure of onion that they used to sell for 250 naira, they are now selling it for 100 naira. Tomato that used to cost 150 naira, they are now selling it for 100 naira. And so on and so forth. If you get sense, you can rush into business. Help our farmers and don't waste money. ASU, that's the association student. No. You're supposed to write the full meaning of ASU now. Is there how many Academic staff crowd? union. Uh, that's. Academic staff union. Go, go, go. That's uh, uh, um, academic staff union of Nigeria University are also threatening to go back on strike because guy man of a guy, guy man. They are claiming that the federal government wants to guide them on a scam level, but that they will not agree. So updates of this later. Maybe they've said to this thing before. They are not paying them. Update later. No wow. Then, according to Punch, petrol subsidy will go up, up to 102 billion in this month of March. How will it happen? Should be their subsidy. Are they removing it? Are they putting it back? Are they hanging the subsidy or are they throwing it down? Updates coming on the full bulletin. And last but not the least, Vicin, Vicin, Vicin. Niger Vicin, not Vicin. Nigeria president and vice president and all big, big people in the country and frontline workers are already collect their COVID-19 Vicin, Vicin in the public. Vicin. Are you the one that collected it in? Nigeria president and big B people in a public show of courage have collected their COVID-19 this thing. And that's all for now. More details of all this topical topic will reach you on our full bulletin coming very soon. Put on your notification post or post notification and collect. I've already finished bulletin now. The headline. Join it to the body of the news list now. Several countries like Denmark, Iceland, and Norway have begun to ban the use of AstraZeneca, 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 AstraZeneca vaccine due to that they find that some patients, after collecting it, are getting blood clot, blood clot. Eh? They are still looking to the study. They can't confirm yet. What's the problem? But they have suspended it in the meantime. Come, producer. Come, come. Which vaccine is this one? The same vaccine. Which vaccine did we collect in Nigeria? The same vaccine. Which vaccine did they give you the Which vaccine? Which vaccine? Ah! Which vaccine?